Ideal Power is pioneering the development and commercialization of its broadly patented biodirectional semiconductor power switch, creating highly efficient and eco-friendly energy solutions for the electric vehicle industry, also energy storage, data centers. And with me is the CEO, Dan Bernard, to bring us up to date on the latest with the company. Dan, there's always something interesting that you guys are doing. So exciting news about Ideal Power commencing the commercial shipment of the SimCool Power Module. So tell us about that. What does that mean for the company? Yeah, it's, it's our first commercial product. It's really targeted for things like solid state circuit breakers and circuit protection. And if you think about all the distributed generation that's going in nowadays with people putting solar in their businesses and their home and energy storage, all the EV charging stations are going to go in. Our existing electric utility system wasn't built for that. So it really needs a fast acting circuit breaker that can protect the equipment that's connected to the grid. And our SimCool power module really is designed to enable that. It can act orders of magnitude faster than a conventional mechanical breaker and do it with very low losses, which has really been the limitation of existing semiconductor-based breakers. Can you elaborate on that a little bit more? How does the SimCool module address the, the speed you mentioned, the low conduction losses, and how is that significant to the renewable energy and other industries? Yeah, you know, if you think about just with all this renewable energy that's going in and you think about challenges with electric vehicles, it's really all about helping all these applications be more efficient, getting more useful energy. And that's really where semiconductors play a key role because they are the driver for the efficiency of your solar power installation or your energy storage installation. Our technology is inherently much more efficient, particularly in a bi-directional application. Our losses are as much as five times better than the conventional semiconductors that are out there, which means a lot more useful energy for all these applications. Mm -hmm. How does the projected growth in the solid state uh, switchgear market, particularly with the forecasted increase in the SAM and the BTRAN technology, how does that align with what you're doing at Ideal Power? Uh, but, you know, the alignment is really great. We're, that's part of what we're excited about. It's about a billion dollar opportunity just for that circuit protection and solid state circuit breaker. Our total addressable market or sales addressable market is about eight billion dollars. And if you think about all the investment that's going to be made here in the infrastructure to accommodate EV charging and renewable energy, we're bringing this this product out at really the right time. And as a result, we're engaged with very, very large companies that want to make circuit breakers incorporating our technology to help solve these problems that we know are coming from EV adoption and renewable energy adoption. Interesting. Now, last time we talked, we talked about the deal with Stellantis. So talk about the key milestones with that. Where does that stand? How does that contribute to the advancement of your technology? Well, we just finished phase two of this program, which really involved us doing quite a few things. We had to do a run of our devices at our wafer fabrication partner. We've had to package those devices up and test them. We sent them out to other companies that are in the, the program with Stellantis, where they are looking to make a VTRAN module for the drivetrain. It was tested by the company that's going to make that module and also the organization that's going to build the inverter for the drivetrain. It was basically declared ready for EV application. And then the last piece of that really was submitting our test plan to Stellantis for how we are going to actually go through the testing to be third-party certified to automotive standards. So great success. We actually finished this phase of the program early, and we're excited to get into the next phase, which is targeted to have this BTRAN-based module ready next year for Stellantis's EV platform. So, and these, uh, this phase one and phase two actually outperformed expectations, correct? They did. I think, you know, they were really pleasantly surprised that for a new technology, we were providing something that was even better than what we had put in the data sheets that, that we sent them. So it really confirmed the efficiency improvement they were expecting. And for them, that means more range for the electric vehicles. Yeah. Okay. Well, always interesting to get updates from you, Dan. Thanks so much. Congratulations on your Thanks, success Jim. and look forward to our next conversation. Appreciate being on. Thanks. Thank you.